Hi everyone, this is Paul with the Brain Trust Digital. I'm here today to tell you about a new product from a familiar company, Emotomo. Last year I reviewed this little box right here. This is the Emotomo TV3 Black. This is a two axis camera robot. It can do panning and tilting. It's programmable and it also has a built in intervalometer. As video producers, we won't necessarily be using an intervalometer a lot, but it is great for moving a camera with smooth motion from point A to point B and not have to worry about having large equipment, heavy equipment, expensive equipment. You can have something that is relatively cost effective that you can throw in a bag and take just about anywhere or have it in a cabinet in your studio and be able to pull out when you need it without it taking up a lot of unnecessary room. Now I've already reviewed the TV3 itself in the past Last year I reviewed it with a four-foot rail system from Rhino Camera Gear, which is very similar to the new product we're going to talk about today, but a little bit different and you'll see some of the differences in a few minutes. If you want to see the review of the TB3 with the Rhino rails, you can search in the search box of Streaming Media Producer up at the top of each page. Just search for TB3 or eModimo and it will come up there. Today we're going to be looking at the eModimo cart. This is a product they are introduced in early 2015 and it is similar to the rail system, but it's distinct. First of all, this thing does not have to be tied to a specific place. It doesn't have to be used in conjunction with a tripod or feet. It's got its own set of wheels and it's got its own power. So you can set an angle with this large nut here to determine what kind of arc you want for your shot. You can go in a straight line or anywhere from here to I mean, 90 degrees in either direction. The construction is high quality. It's machined out of aluminum. It's got a nice semi-matte black finish, and it's easy to put together. When it comes in a box, you've got each wheel separate, and then you've got the axle and the main body that simply go together with a couple of washers, uh, O-rings for traction, and then these wing nuts here. So putting it together is easy. Getting it ready to go is easy. So let's just talk about how it performs. Once the power is hooked up, you've got your cable connecting here to the motor on the cart. That uses the aux motor port on the TB3. Once everything is powered on and hooked up, if you're gonna be doing a time lapse where you want the box to control the camera, you'll use a camera cable that'll plug into another port and go into your camera shutter cable port. If you're not gonna be using one of those, then you don't need to worry about it. If you're just gonna shoot some real-time video, you don't need to plug anything into the camera from the TB3 because it's just going to move the camera. Once it's powered on and connected to your controller, you simply advance to the second screen and then you're ready to set your first point of motion. So you can then control the cart's position, taking care not to run over any cords if you have AC power. And your tilt and pan is controlled with the joystick on top. So I'm just gonna set up a simple A, B, point one to point two shot here. So I'm going to start with kind of a low angle. Make sure this is locked good and tight. And I'll set that as point A. Now I'll move the cart to point B. And I want to be tilting up during this and then maybe panning a little bit. So I've got my program set. Now all I have to do is finish going through the other settings, including the ramping that I wanted to do, the easing in and easing out, and then I'll tell it to run the program. Now the cart is not going to be a perfect solution for everything. You can't take it everywhere, you can't shoot everywhere with it. You're limited by the wheels that have to be on the ground. So even if you're on an asphalt driveway, there's gonna to be too many bumps and ridges in there to shoot something smooth. If you're planning to use it on an imperfect surface, you will have to also plan on doing some stabilization in post. However, if you have a nice smooth concrete surface, like I have on my porch, or many of you have in your studios, you'll be fine. However, if I moved the cart just a few feet behind me onto the wooden slats, I'd be out of luck, except if I ran them in the direction with the slats so they weren't going over the bumps between the boards. The bottom line is this. At less than $400, the cart can make a good addition to your camera gear, whether you already have a TB3 or not. But there's going to be a lot of instances where you'll really just want a set of rails or a dolly instead of something that has to go on the ground. 